Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan Peterman and welcome back to another video. So, I've had problems recording the last episode and this episode so many times now, I'm kind of sick of it. But I think I figured it out, and if everything goes well, you should be watching this video. If not, don't know why I'm talking to you. But, we have an objective... We have to give our DVD to Steph. And yes, we wrote it down on her hand, which is kind of ridiculous. Hey, you remember this girl? Remember this girl? I talked to her last time in the last Carrie thing, Price. but like, you guys didn't it's see that. Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Wait. What about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. Tell what? Tell what, Victoria? It's a photo. Big deal. But it's on Facebook! I mean, that basically means you and Rachel are like BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? Why? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. You know? I mean, look at your face. Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Oh. I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. <laughs> you know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Of course. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and uh, uranium again. Does that sound right? Perfect. Hey, thanks, Carrie. No problem. Still hate her. Always will. All right. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. I used to play with my friend Max. It's been a long time, though. Cool. Got my DVD. One Blade Runner. Director's Cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? I don't know what you heard, but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join our game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Yeah. All right, so last time I tried recording this, the whole episode was this because it actually did take 20 minutes to do one game. Um, I'm going to say some other time because I know... Not really in the mood. I haven't gotten past Maybe this later. part yet. 
You know where to find us. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Get to chemistry class, throw it in my hand. Erase the other one, even though it was written in pen. All right, let's get to chemistry class. What have you got here? Twitch? Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours! Give it back! I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Want to take this elsewhere, guys? The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. <laughs> Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop. Why'd you say it like that? Chloe, do something. Stop just standing there watching. What are you doing? I'm staying out of it. Screw hey, that. If you don't take the time to stand back and watch, you miss some of life's Nathan moments. Nathan kills us in the future. I'm sure Chloe doesn't know that now, like, but booyah. we do. That. <laughs> that took me months to put together. Quit the team, Twitch. Or next time it'll be worse. Go to hell. You should be ashamed. You didn't do anything either. What the heck? I'm not ashamed. Screw Nathan. H, man. Oh, good. You're here. Alrighty then. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda, indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened to... Uh, many a time, the harmony of their tongues... Uh, hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to what your was other her name again? actors. And most Can't of all, it. she was yourself. the one girl Mr. in that Keaton. dorm. Sorry to interrupt, last game. but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with. My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? 
Morir. Miranda's an idiot because falling in love is stupid. <laughs> what is she? 12? Actually, she's about 15. So your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. <laughs> Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't. Don't snoop. Rachel looks so happy here. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Can do. Uh, Rachel, is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Well, I don't just want to throw it over, but I feel like it's weird if I just bring it to her. But hey, I'm all about weird. And you didn't have to go all the way over there. You could have just like put it, like put your arm there and like you do with like when you're out of toilet paper and you get one of your family members to do it. Uh, whatever. I, I really like your can't costume. Just not say Thanks. Anything. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, how about a belt instead? Perfect. I'll let you finish changing now. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. You call getting attacked by goons amazing? I've got to hang out with you more. Do you? That you will. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. <laughs> so exactly. awkward. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Mm. All right. Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? That's what I, that's what I thought. Uh, um, yeah, yes, that's smart. Please. People won't shut up about it. Exactly. Hold still. This is a lot of makeup. That's the price of valor. Close your eyes. The sound effects. Much better. Literally just. Holy shit. See that? Boom. Let's get the hell out of here.
You sure you don't want to just grab the bus, or...? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? Where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Oh, the Drew and Nathan thing. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. Yeah, maybe you should. That's All the right, whole Chloe. point. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? It's nice Rachel we're having. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I mean weather. Oh jeez, nice we so messed up there. It sure is. Oh wow, that is so embarrassing and awkward. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Hey, so... I want to say thanks. For pulling you out of school? No, dummy. Thanks for last night. Ah. Uh, for sure, man. If you hadn't shown up. Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. I owe you. That's for sure. Is that why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Mm. Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun? Joy rides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. Let's do something fun. Okay, I'm listening. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie? Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. One time I did this in, like, seventh grade, and I, I thought it was two lies and one truth, so I made up two lies and one truth, and... Then realizing when they were trying to figure it out that it was the opposite. The t I'm pretty sure to this day, I mean, they probably forgot about it, but to this day, if anything, they definitely think that they were true. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. 
Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. Oh, it's sad because she dies. Ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. So, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? Uh, I mean... The Leo one could be true. Because, like, that's just when you're born. The ambidextrous one... Yeah, that's very rare. Like, very, very rare. But if she was born in New York, why is she in Arcadia Bay? Like, that is really far. She just said they're going north. They might hit Seattle, which means they're definitely not close to New York. It just seems like a weird move to me. I'm going New York. You seem more like a Cali girl to me. Damn, Price. Not bad. Long Beach, in fact. West Coast is the best coast. I've only ever lived in Oregon, so nothing to compare it to, I guess. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. I once broke my hand punching Stephanie Kowalski in fifth grade. No way. Bitch took my yuhu, knocked her the fuck out. I see you <laughs> like to write notes to yourself. Helps me stay focused. Also, sweet scar. Kind of still do. Arr. I love. Is science. math related to science? Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh? You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. So, pirate. Obviously true. Uh, no, we're not gonna be weird. Like you said. Arr. Okay, you say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work? That place is a hellhole filled with shit where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, though. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. Now, about this broken hand story. It's not that I don't think you could knock Stephanie Kowalski out. A bitch takes your yoo-hoo, she's gotta get got. Tam straight. But, you didn't get that scar from punching someone. No. That scar is from a distal radius fracture. What the heck? How could you possibly That's so specific. That? I broke my wrist when I was 10. Ah. Uh, the point is, I know that the scar you've got comes with breaking your wrist when you fall. Like, from
from a skateboard? Yeah. I guess... six years ago? Seven. <laughs> well, shit. I always thought I was a good liar. Good thing you're pretty. So... if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Um, kind of creepy in real life, kind of impressive in like fictional work. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. <sighs> All right, do it. You're gonna die soon, anyways. I'm sorry, that was pretty messed up. Attorney, we love you, Rachel. I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey. Car first, license second. You. That's my way. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But Why eye not? patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. Come on, you I need to get lot. the focus That's back. All. It's not a big deal. Oh, Jesus. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Yeah. Trust doesn't exactly come easy to me. Maybe if you'd had my life. I mean, can you blame her though? Understand. No, I get that. Jesus on Christ. The other hand, I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Yeah, but we can't do that because of copyright reasons. Share with Rachel. Why would it be we just like hey, sit there listen to our own music? Kind of messed up if you ask me. Sorrow will have an end. There's like a bunch of stuff written there. Oh my gosh, I always hate these scenes because I don't have music on. I don't feel like putting my own music on because it's not what what the creator is intended for it to be. Like the music they have is a certain tone, you know, certain mood. They pick the perfect song for this scene. You know what I mean? And I can't just replace it with some crappy YouTube free music that'll give me money. Oh, bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was And I love long. music. Like that's it all comes together like perfectly to set the mood. It, I just I just love everything that goes into games and Maybe stuff like that. Movies like Beach. sound effects. The music, anywhere, the ambience, ambiance, that kind of thing. Than Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check oh, it's sad because she does disappear in the future. What? Who is here? Jump and find out. Did Why you don't you jump, jump first? Jump! Screw it. Bucket. But sadly, I'm gonna have to end that episode there. So if you wanna find out if that's the place, join me next time on the next episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. Yeah, 30 minute mark. Here we go. Um, love you guys. Make sure to subscribe, like, and hit that bell notification so you can come for the next part so you find out faster than anyone else. And I don't know how much longer we have in this game, but it's, 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 it's getting good. It's getting good. It's getting there. It's getting there. So, see ya.